Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Adam, coach of the Washington Commanders. We are here with our week three matchup versus the Patterson Charizards, coached by McMeezy. Um, so this was recorded live. I did a live dub over it. And when I watched it back, I realized that my frame rate was just absolutely terrible. So I decided I would do my best to speed this up, cut out all of the chunks and all the nasty frame rate, and do a post -com. So this is me cutting out the middleman and making life easier for you guys, for me, um, so that we don't all have to sit here and watch these nasty frame drops and all that. Honchkrow is a massive, massive threat in this game, so I wanted it neutralized right off the bat. Um, I was risking, I was kind of hoping McMeezy would go for a Sucker Punch, and that didn't happen. They went for Night Slash instead. So I burnt the thing, and now I have to get out of here. Uh, once this thing is kind of neutralized, I should be able to tank it with Amoongus. Amoongus still does about, well, it still takes about 50% from a Brave Bird, so I still have to be careful with it. So I go ahead and go T-Tar here, I'm trying to put up rocks before this thing swaps out because it is burnt. I was hoping maybe they'd go for another Night Slash, Sucker Punch, hoping I wasn't choiced. I was choiced, I was a Choice Scarf Dragapult. Um, but anyway, this is uh, it's going to bait out the Lucario, and the Lucario is Terra Normal. It is no bueno, it is not a fun time for anybody. Um, except for McMeezy, and that is that equates to not a good time for me. And if you look at the screen, you can see these terrible frame rates. I tried to ask my laptop, which is super, super old, to do too much, and it just couldn't hang. So Amoongus is always the play here. I go out, I can clear smog it if it decides to go Terra Normal, and if not, I'm just going to spore it and hope that it's not safety goggles. We do ultimately force this thing out. Uh, we sit here, click spore. And I believe they go out into, uh, I want to say it was Charizard? Might be Charizard. Uh, yep, it's Charizard. It goes to sleep. And from that point on, I'm going to double back out into T-Tar and put up my rocks and just try to take this thing on. I do have Rock Blast just in case this wanted to set up or sub. Um, I wanted to make sure I could take care of it. The end game is going to try to be a setup with something or sweep with Dragapult. Uh, that's at least what I was trying to play out in my head. Greninja is going to need some more damage. I'm going to need damage on a lot of other things. So U-turn is just going to have to be my play of choice as I try to clear open a path for Dragapult. So yeah, we go out to T-Tar, we put up our rocks, and then we just start going back and forth with this thing. It does Sunny Day, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, just so I, it gets rid of my sand boost. No more special defense boost for me. Um, I throw up my rocks, and then I go for a rock blast. He does burn me. Um, the Charizard does at least... And uh, we're good. Good, good good to go from there. And uh, we just keep rocking with it. Oh, sorry, that's a female Charizard. My B, my B. Um, but this is just the exchange. We go back and forth. I tried to T-wave it, thinking that maybe this was Boots and it would be a, uh, a sacrifice that McMeezy would be willing to make. That was not the case, though, and that's all right. Um, if you did just hear some heavy breathing on that, that was my dog bringing me her ball so that I could play with her while I'm trying to record this. Um, she's very cute, so I am going to try and do that. So if you do hear more heavy breathing in the background, I promise it's not me. It's actually my dog. Um, I'll try to edit it out in post um, just because this is a shorter video and I'm not taking it super, super seriously um, because of how it ended up. I am acutely aware of the fact that I'm not battling in the BBR or anything like that. This is not the GBA. Um, look at the frame rates, and you will see exactly what I mean. Um, anyway, Screamtail does come out here. Uh, this is one of those things I was just trying to scout to see if it was going to do dual screens or if it was going to uh, attempt to status something. But I just wanted to see what the set was because if this is just the standard stall set or something close to it, then we can uh, go out and win with Oracorio. So after scouting to see that it has the coverage moves of, I believe it was Flamethrower, Dazzling Gleam, and T-Bolt, I do decide to swap out into my Cinderace and uh, launch a couple Pyro Balls to see what kind of damage it's doing. It's not doing a whole lot. Um, so after Cinderace sends in on it for a few times, gets a few moves off, uh, I decided it's time to go ahead and switch out into Oricorio. And from that point, um, the sweep is going to attempt to be on. So let's see, I'll go ahead and skip ahead or at least let it play out to where we get to that point and uh, we'll go from there. I think moving forward, I'm going to make sure that I have a set number of standards for how I record these matches just so I don't have the drop in frame rate again um, and I can do these live com like I like to do. Um, I know that a lot of people probably don't watch these anyway, but it's kind of more cathartic for me. Uh, I really enjoy just watching them back and realizing what I could have done better, realizing... Um, 
the the positive plays that I made. So it's it's a learning process and it's kind of fun. So it's a win win at least in my book. Um, Zap at home is out here and it's ready to do work. At this point, I'm just going to start alternating between Quiver Dance and Roost. Um, I do need to get to a plus three in order to outspeed a Scarfed Greninja. This is a bulky Oricorio. It's not standard. And at this point, if I am low to or close to uh, around 50%, then even a Burnt Sucker Punch crit will knock me out. So I have to make sure that I play around that. And we do have to expect that E-Speed coming out from Lucario. So it might seem like I'm trying to be a little bit stally. I'm not. I'm just trying to make sure that three or four plays down the road, I haven't put myself in a bad position because I didn't think ahead. Um, so this is just alternating between Quiver Dance um, roost and scouting with revelation dance to see about how much it's doing. Uh, we do get the para off. Uh, we got para off with T tar before we swapped out. So the para the paralysis really did help, but yeah, so I am going to let the rest of the sweep play out. Um, we get up to plus three and then we just start killing stuff. So that's going to be it from me. That was a GG to McMeezy. Um, sorry, it did kind of play out the way that it did, but next time I will try to have a full match up on this channel for you guys hope you all are having a great day take it easy and enjoy the rest of the match peace